Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games. And tonight we definitely do have the newest Atari games for the Atari 7800. Uh, I have replaced Tanya with a box. Tanya has turned into a printer. That's exactly right. Ivory Tower Collections. Uh, um, Tanya's running a little late or she's in the box. We don't know. We're going to open her up like a Christmas present. Um, but tonight we have the very special uh, world exclusive of Muddy Vision's secret new homebrew. Shh. You don't know what it is yet. Um, that's what makes it secret. Uh, yes, for the Atari 7800. And also, not only that, we have Muddy Funster Lewis Hill that are, is he's going to be joining us a little bit later um over video and he's been gracious enough to stay up very very late um he is in the uk and it's like 2 a.m there um what's in the box what's in the box i thought she did something with her hair yeah she's looking pretty good now this is part of the um unboxing uh portion and after we play uh muddy funster's new game uh we'll be playing going into after dark hush You'll get fed soon enough. Uh, we will do be doing an After Dark tonight. We're going to be playing Gravitic Mines and working our way towards getting... What is it? We're trying to get a card. Uh, yes, kittens. It is the... Let me get the exact wording of this. Uh, a pilot ID card. And we have to pass um, level 4 or 5, which is the last level. So good luck to us. How to handle treats with a printer. I don't know. And we might want to do treats. <laughs> uh, not just yet, but before... Look at that face. Look at those faces. Oh my goodness. Um, before uh, we do the interview and reveal the game to give Tanya a little bit more time. Um, but first, let's... Um, let's get to the news, actually. Let's do the news first. So let's see, not much news, but there's a little bit. So let's go here. Kind of a kind of sad news. Um, nobody, nobody's hurt. It's okay. But um, Carl G posted this today, uh, who's in the chat right now. Um, he, he posted, well, since my MacBook has crashed and the data is in it effectively inaccessible, I've lost the so source code for this game. Um, and it's for Cartesian um, Chaos, um, which is super upsetting. Um, where is the message? Um, I've, it's almost done, but I, since I can't easily tweak it further, I won't try to have it added to the Atari Age store. However, I think only one byte needs to be changed to allow it to save high scores, to save devices for each of the game difficulty levels. That part seemed to be working, and my demo had it disabled with the aim of saving it for a cart release. Once I can figure out how to change that and reassemble, I'll make a new version available and grant permission to anyone who wants to let Albert make a cart of the game for, for them if desired. And he goes into much more detail here about his dead MacBook and lost data. He um, So what have I lost? The biggest thing is source code. Lots and lots of source code for, vi for projects in various stages of development. The good news is that I, since I use Git to track my changes for penult project, I haven't lost that code. Uh, if I were to pick one project to save, that would have been the one I picked for certain. Um, so a very uh, sad tale here, um, but at least he has penult, which is the one he wanted to save so that he can continue on, which is, which is a small bit of good news in a bigger scheme of upsetting news. So uh, that's very uh, sad to hear, Carl G. So hopefully somewhere down the road, just keep that MacBook and maybe somebody you run into or post it in the forums, like under, I don't know, Apple laptops or go to some forums for help for, I'm, I'm sure you've looked into all this beef already to try and recover the data. He, he says it's, it's like on, it's soldered. Like the storage is soldered onto the onto the motherboard, which is crazy. So you can't easily just take it off the motherboard and retrieve the data because he's not able to boot. Oh my God, I don't know what you can do there, but that's crazy. 
Uh, uh, Mighty Funster says, I read your karma comment, Carl, and dumped my entire dev folder to my Dropbox. Yeah. My God, that is that is very upsetting. Um, so after the Vectrex stream, which which got great reception on Tuesday, um, I ordered a bunch of Vectrex stuff because I got Vectrex, Vectrex fever, apparently. What are you doing, cat? Bad cat. Um, so I added a bunch of uh, fun add-ons for our next Vectrex stream. Um, who knows when that'll be, but down the line. Um, definitely after I get this stuff, uh, including some DB9 extenders. So because you can't just plug in DB9s into the Vectrex, they have this weird shaved off shape. I don't know why they made them that much difficult, uh, different, but they did. And uh, also I ordered uh, the UV light that I talked about, that it goes around the edge. Oh, thank you for resubscribing around Trooper. Woohoo. Uh, 48 months. Oh my God. That's four years. That's like almost the whole time we've been on the air. Oh, they're clicking. Oh my God. So does the cats. Um, uh, the UV light that goes around the edge. I just looked it up and it looks so cool. And then a number of UV sensitive overlays, uh, ordered like three UV overlays that are kind of generic overlays that work with, you know, shooters and, um, bre ground based games, things like that. So that's going to be a lot of fun for our next stream for games that don't have overlays themselves because there's a lot of homebrew that's released for it that um isn't released in box form it's just released in the binary so it'll be perfect for those what are you looking around for hey do your mom hey <laughs> um so that'll be fun for the next uh hope and i'm also going to get some um polarization filters so that it might cut down on the reflection from the screen because you can see us quite clearly and all these lights reflecting off the screen so having a polarization filter might cut down on that and give even a better picture than we got and the picture was pretty good oh tanya is home you're gonna come in uh, yeah in you can come in and second, eat in a quick second. oh she's <laughs> she's getting ready uh Sorry. yeah tanya's drinking toner tonight yeah she's been replaced with a printer oh, <laughs> yes yeah, for the unboxing the box is movie, moving as muddy in there. Yeah, he's going to pop out. Yeah, the picture was pretty good. Um, what extenders did I find? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Do I have a quick link for that? It's the same guy who does the D, uh, UV overlay. So let me um, bring that up. Uh, Vectrex. Um, there. Oh, that's the overlays. Damn it. That's not right. Uh oh there it is okay so let's take a look at that um it's contacting servers all the way in the uk loading 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 come on oh now it doesn't come up don't order it i haven't quite put the money in yet <laughs> so don't buy them before i do um come on oh my god of course now that i want to show it it's not it's not going to show it uh, it's at clockworkrobot.com. How about that? Clockworkrobot.com. Um, he also is the one who sells the uh, UV light that goes around the edge. And the UV active overlays are sold at a different location, uh, which is blacklighter.co.uk. There we go. Um, yeah, it's very difficult to find there is no link to order them, so you have to kind of look through the text to find his email address. It's not apparent right away how to order them. Okay, so let's um, get to the unboxing. Um, yeah, that page is just not coming up. I have no idea. Let me click on it once more. Oh, now it's up. Yay, more stalling. Come on. Load, load, load. And... Um, Thank you to Muddy Funster for hanging in there and waiting for us uh, to get the show ready because Tanya ran into some traffic today. So, no, still not loading. Oh, well. I'll wait till it loads. Okay. So, I ordered, first of all, some extenders, more extenders, because I had like two or three um, for the uh, Atari 5200. So, I got some more extenders. 
Um, I'll show you what these look like. So that you can have a little bit more distance um, with the controllers for the Atari 5200. These are actually made for the Neo Geo. They don't actually say 5200 in the listing on eBay or wherever I got them. They're for Neo Geo. But they have the same number of pins and same um, same wiring. There's no crossed wirings or, or anything. So I got three more of those, uh, which will be handy for four player games for the Atari 5200. It's just, that's actually why I bought them. So let me get out my cutter, box cutter, while you stare at my feet. There we go. Or the cat too. So I think I know what this is. Um, I hope it is what I think it is. Just be aware that long extension cables on the 5200 will slightly alter the controller readings on the analog side. Oh, yes, I think you told me about that. I'll have to watch for that. Hopefully it won't affect them, but we shall see. Okay, I was hoping Tanya would be ready for this when I have him unbox it, but she is not. She has to eat some food. So let's open this up and she can see it later or watch me unbox it later. This is recorded after all. Okay, here we go. Yeah, looks pretty good. It felt light, but the stuff that's in it is not really super heavy. Let's put this down on the floor. Oh, you are coming here. Mm -hmm. Oh, can you eat outside the door? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Nobody wants to watch you stuff your face, but you can watch the unboxing from there. Mm -hmm. uh, this is just a box. Okay. <laughs> Not shaving equipment. Ah, uh, yeah, I think there's something in this box. I'm wearing my Christmas sweater. Mm -hmm. Tanya's wearing a Christmas sweater, doing some. Uh, opening of presents for myself. Um, actually, this these will make more sense when I open the big thing, actually. So let's do that. So, okay. It's a Russian nesting box. It's a box in a box in a box in a box. Uh, can you put that in the hallway? Just get it out of the way. Very well packed. I did talk with the uh, seller um, and he w and I said, because I always see horror stories of of um, items being sent, particularly game systems, consoles, and when they get to the person who's buying it, there's it's just cracked all to hell or smashed, and and the case is destroyed. Um, so I I said, oh, make sure you you know pack it nicely. I said it very nicely, uh, and he said, oh yeah, I, I definitely pack everything very very carefully. And he did a very good job. Lots of material around it, lots of bubble wrap, and even styrofoam packaging, <laughs> which is great. Okay, let's open this up. Now this is actually really, really exciting, and I've wanted this for quite a while. Um, and it is for the show, and it is what I think it is. So, anybody guess? Can anybody guess what it is? It's a console. Before I reveal it, which console is it? Well, you can guess it's, well, maybe you can't guess. It's an Atari. I'll give you a hint. Nobody's guessed. A Neo Geo. I'm not that rich. I don't have that much money. <laughs> that's, a, that's an expensive habit. Yeah, forget Vectrex. Neo Geo is the, the king of how to spend your money in an instant. Um, because the games like start at a hundred, and that's that's if you're gonna um, collect the arcade cartridges. Our, oh, a PAL 800 XL. Nostalgic wins. It is a PAL 800 XL, <laughs> and not only is it a PAL 800 XL, it also has the VBXE mod installed and the U1MB mod installed as well. As well, I was reading WoW from Vitoko. So now I will be able to play all the games uh, from for for 8-bit systems. I'll have to figure out how that 25 frames per second is going to work through the retro tank 
and the stream. I may have to drop the frame rate to 50 frames a second. Oh, it smells okay. It smells like the UK. That's where it came from. Um, yeah, pretty good condition. Slightly yellowed, but not like going super brown. Um, yeah, it's in really, really, really good condition. And, and he is selling more of them. So if you want to look it up on eBay, it's a pretty decent price for the mods. Like if you add up a yeah, new console smell, if you add up the mods that went into this and the cost, um, it's actually quite decent. It does not have a channel select. No, it doesn't have a channel selector. You're very correct. That's interesting. It's got a little, uh, little spot where maybe the channel selector would be. Uh, looks like it's got some plastic still on the on the uh, place. I may have to clean this up a little bit. Uh, where the cartridges go in, there's a little bit of plastic there. But yeah, it looks really great condition. Um, and oh yeah, so what's in the other box that came with it? Stereo mod. I can't remember. I don't remember it being listed. Tanya's here! Yay! <laughs> I finally got here. Um, so here's the connector for. Um, <laughs> well, the cats are going crazy. Mm -hmm. um, for composite out, won't be using that. Um, and a power adapter, a five volt USB. It's party time for kittens. Time for kittens. Cats, 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 cats. Oh, oh no, they couldn't boxes. hear it. They couldn't hear that. Oh, because I've got my earpiece in. Oh. There you go. Here's oh, your piece. Thank you so much. Um, so power adapter for five volts so that you don't need to uh, mess around with um, PAL voltage or UK voltage. Oh, PAL. Yeah, yeah. And the uh, SCART connector for awesome video. So can't wait to try that out. Cat. So are they getting some catnip? Cat. Uh, yes, catnip. Right. Thank you so much, teleprompter, for tiny bit tiny bit it's still covering the floor tiny bit okay so that's oh let's get the other cat oh there he is he wasn't sure what was going on it's catnip time that's enough that's enough just a little bit here's catnip yeah catnip come get it yeah it's there look sniff it <laughs> he's just not as interested is he? <laughs> he didn't hear the hear the noises it... yeah uh muddy fun says i have a pokey max in mine you can control it from the u1 mb bios oh okay so i will i'll plug it in and report back and um uh, post some pictures and stuff of it um it's very very exciting oh now he's at it yeah what what are you doing <laughs> No, no, no. It's not a puck. It's not hockey time. <laughs> You're laying on it now. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Messed up the order treats. First. Treats first, then nip. Yes, that's right. I want nibbles. Look, he's rolled all around in it. Oh, kittens. Okay, that's enough of cat count. Um, okay, so uh, I think it's time to get to Muddy Funster. Yes. And so let's get him on the line just one second make sure everything is good here first yeah they shouldn't have nip on empty stomachs so that's says. right <laughs> um so they didn't need any of it yeah thank you teleprompter Tele though no guys come here come here you know it's here you know it's here <laughs> come on oh I'll just leave come it. on it's fine. come on here you know this smell you like it <laughs> you know you like it atari come on oh, give it a good sniff. there we go there we go there we go. Oh, 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 no. Oh, ah, there, there he goes. Go. It's rolling around. They do it like now. to roll in it. <laughs> yes. Like getting it all over their body. If you've ever seen uh, videos of cats in the wild, uh, they roll around in the fields of mm. catnip. It's so funny. Yeah, I wish we had space to have like an outdoor, like, oh my like God. natural That'd catnip uh, plant or something. Yep. They, uh, they usually really like it. Okay, so let's not let Muddy Funster yes. wait much longer. Mm -hmm. um, he is, it's now 2.30 uh, in the morning Oh there. my goodness, sorry Muddy Funster. <laughs> so if you can uh, get him up sure. on that. I will do so. Just the video, yep. And then make sure it goes full screen after it's connected.
Now we'll get to his secret new homebrew. Full screen. Can't hear you just yet, Lewis, but we will get you on the screen. Yay! Hello, Lewis. Hello. How are you doing? Good morning. Good morning. Yes, definitely good morning <laughs> to you. Thank you so much for mm -hmm. staying up so late mm -hmm. to show off your game. I, I know it's 2.30 uh, in the morning there. Uh, yeah, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> Excellent. Um, okay, so uh, we're going to be premiering your uh, brand new game, which is very exciting. Um, so... Do you want to do any preamble before we reveal it? Or should we just dive right into it and then go from there? I think we should just dive right in. <laughs> Excellent. Let's do that. Let's uh, play the uh, little jingle here. That's right, exclusive world premiere. <laughs> and I have been warming, warming up the 7800. It should be fully warm by now, <laughs> nice and toasty. Nice. Um, and you'll see why uh, Money Funster laughs at that in about uh, one second. Okay, let's switch it over. It is a large game, so I have to wait just a little bit while the dragonfly loads it up. Here we go. Bernie and the Tower Ooh. of Doom! We'll get Bernie over here. Yeah. There we go, there's Bernie. ZPH 16th December 2022, first demo sneak peek. Bernie likes a warm console. <laughs> Square should look green. If so, your console is warm. That <laughs> is awesome. Now, I, I want to ask you about those green squares. <laughs> now, that's a great idea. That's mm -hmm. really awesome. And when I did turn this on cold, those did not look green. They were definitely very different colors. <laughs> now, is green a specific sensitive color more than others? It, it's one of the colors that's sensitive to color change. Um, Treble, uh, Robert is very much the uh, the palette whisperer. Um, <laughs> and there's a lot of, he's put a lot of really fantastic analysis in the forums about how the color shifts and, you know, the, the different yes. shades. And those are shades that are used in the game. And I figured when I was testing on my own machine, they would appear, you know, the top one would even appear like a minty blue rather than a green and the bottom <laughs> one was like a washed out weird green and as you warm right. up they drift to become the colors they should there's a few other ranges that are affected and there's some ranges that are just not affected i think the reds and the oranges are, are pretty solid right yeah and the fire did look a little off on a cold system but not too bad but those greens were just out of control Completely out of whack. <laughs> yeah yeah okay well i will hand this over to tanya yes. so she can uh start into the game just just press the second button is the primary oh. button bernie and the tower of doom and yes. now i can change the cartridge um there we go um so let's uh let's go into options very nice title screen a little worm crawling along the top a wizard mm -hmm. there and bernie is there options yeah Options Alpha 132, December 16, 2022. Placeholder, nothing to see here. Move okay, along. Fair enough. <laughs> Move along, citizen. Let's go to help. Credits uh, Alpha 132, December 16th, same again. Uh, graphics and code Lewis Hill. Additional graphics Dave Hughes. Testing S. Ramirez, Trevor, and Crossbow. Ah, so nice. some of these people have seen this game <laughs> already. And. Um, Start? Well, um, let's um so bernie's off on another adventure yeah. uh, apparently um to the tower of dune tell us about his newest adventure after he has apparently escaped from the cubic conundrum well he escapes 
but we haven't seen him escape yet because that other game hasn't been released. So it's kind of like a <laughs> yes. pre-sequel, if that makes sense. Mm. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's it's a so it, this does take place after the other one. Are they in some yeah, sort of sequence it, then? It, it, it's it's. If you had like a timeline, this would be after the Cubic Conundrum. Um, okay. Even though that game's not finished, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'd end up with a timeline that's going to be like the Marvel Universe with like multiverses and all kinds of weird stuff. <laughs> Let's just say it follows on. Mm -hmm. That's right. You're what, like one of those movie makers that uh, develops like the the trilogy all at once. You're just filming it all at once, and yeah. then, then you release them one at a time. But you're you're yeah. working to, on to all of them. them out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's yeah. right. Uh, some nice animation going on. Bernie's uh, looking pretty happy there. Yeah. So let's uh, let's get into it. It was just after 4 p.m. on a Friday afternoon. Bernie and Mrs. B were enjoying... So Bernie is uh, his last name then? First and last. Um, or is it like B, Mario where it's Ma yeah, Mrs. Ma Mario B, Mario? Mrs. B. Um, she does have a name, but yeah. that won't be revealed until much later. <laughs> That's right. We're enjoying a nice cup of afternoon tea. Oh, some great animation there. Uh, with a smash and a crash. Oh, there's a bird in there. Uh, their peaceful afternoon came to an abrupt end. A whizmail owl had made rather an unfortunate landing in Bernie's garden. Oh, smashed into the window. <gasps> oh, no. Poor owl. Okay. Bernie retrieved the message from the day's looking owl. It was a scroll sealed with a red M. It could only be from Bernie's old and faithful friend, Melvin the Really Forgetful. <laughs> <laughs> Carefully, Bernie opened the scroll and read. Old friend, I need your assistance. Please meet me at the old tower on the moon road. Come quickly, Melvin. Uh, now we know who M is. Excellent. So we have the overworld nice. here now. Um, so tell us about this game, how it came about, what it's about, um, and uh, who the wizard is all of a sudden. So yeah, the, the wizard, that's Melvin. Um, he's kind of an analog for Merlin, if you like, Merlin the Magician. So it's, he's Melvin the Incredibly mm -hmm. Forgetful. Um, you'll see that he has problems with names. Um, uh, ah, here we go. Melvin, old friend. Uh, Barry. <laughs> Barry, so good to see you. It's Bernie and you're late. <laughs> A wizard is never late, Bradley, uh, nor uh, is he early. Uh, he uh, arrives uh, precisely when he means to. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Next. Size. what's so urgent that you need to drag me away from my Friday afternoon tea? That dastardly dryad, Cedric, he's back and causing mischief. How? He should be in jail. <laughs> well, he's back, and what's more, he's taken over all of the old towers from the time before, and he is mind-warping everything. That rancorous, 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 repugnant robot? The spudlings have gone mad. The Grumpkins are grumpier than usual, and there are reports of... Yes, go on. Squirrelsaurus and Micezilla. No way. That's impossible. I wish it were Billy, old chap. Melvin, what should we do? Start with the tower up ahead, get in, collect the stars, and shut off whatever is sending out the mind control signal. <sighs> Today was my day off. I wasn't even supposed to be here today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've got a really you backtrack to the signpost. You can activate the signpost. Ah. Oh, gotcha. Oh, excellent. The sign reads the Moon Road, Crescent Tower ahead. Nice. Okay, so we know what moon, what road we're on, and uh, the tower. Mm. Very, very like really nice looking overworld. Very, very nice. cartoonish looking. That's that's excellent. Mm. Um. Okay. So let's let's uh, tell tell us about this game. How, how did it come about? Like you, you, you obviously now love this new character. Is he the, is he the mascot for Muddy Vision now? I think he is. Yeah, I think he's um, I think he, he's official now. Um, but um, <laughs> I, I wanted to make a, a, a new game and I wanted to make a Bernie game because I never really got around to finishing Cubic Conundrum. Um, and I figured, well, I had an idea for a project um, and this project draws inspiration from many many different sources i knew i wanted to do something with an overworld i knew i wanted to have different sections different levels um and i knew it was definitely going to be a 160 project um let's not go into that yeah. conversation 
let's not. <laughs> yeah, let's uh, leave it in the forums. <laughs> but um, and you know there'll, there'll be there's, there's a few other twists and turns. It'll be big cat um, and surprises um, <laughs> that you'll see as, as, as we do. And, and there's a few things not in the demo yet that are going to be coming for the for the public release mm. in about a week's time. Oh, excellent! Yeah, that was another question whether. Uh, people are going to get uh, a, a demo, so they're going to get the second Bernie adventure before the first one. Indeed, then. yeah. <laughs> Excellent. So let's get to the tower. Entering mm. the Crescent Tower. Yeah. Okay, so um, now we're we're in the game, yeah. right? This this is the actual game plan. Like the overworld, uh, I was going to ask you, is there any game plan in the overworld, or is it more the story? The overworld, the overworld is really to tell the story and narrate Bernie's journey. However, there will be um, quests that you can do in the overworld that will have, when you successfully complete or solve them, they'll have an effect on the, the gameplay. So at the moment, you get five chances in the tower before you get kicked out. The actual right. game will start with maybe two or three, and you can earn additional chances by solving overground, you know, overworld quests. And there'll be, there'll be a few okay. other things. There'll be a shop that you can go in and you can buy a save potion and stuff like that. Okay, good, good. Uh, yeah, I was, I was thinking it It looked very involved, the overworld, and it seemed too involved to, to just keep it as a story. So, yeah, I thought there might be a shop or something, things you can buy or earn. So it looks like Tanya's figuring this out on her own a little bit. Uh, I'm missing something, I think, but... Uh... So maybe you can uh, explain what we're seeing here. Yeah, yeah, so the the middle of the UI basically will tell you what tower and what level you're on. Um, the right-hand right. side will tell you how many stars you need and how many you've collected. So you move Bernie around, left, mm -hmm. right, up, down, will move him. Um, your, your jump button will jump on the star squares and collect them. Um, some squares can be bashed, like the bubbles, you can jump up and down and, and burst the bubbles. If Bernie falls a yeah. long way, um, you'll get stunned. So sometimes you'll have to time your jumps mm. and your drops. If you do a short right. drop, you won't. Mm. Oh, okay. A, a, a splat jump. A long and, drop. Uh, <laughs> yeah, a long jump, too long. And 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 also she she fell on the enemy. Yeah. And even even when you're stunned and mm -hmm. the enemy touches you, you still lose lose a life. Lose a life. So you have to kind of uh, time it up and coordinate it if there is a long fall because you're you're stuck for a second. But then you can run away. So he doesn't really die from a long fall, but he does die from the the enemies on the screen. Yeah. I mean, a lot of these early levels are just designed really to introduce different gameplay mechanics. Um, you know, mm. collect the stars, right. and then as you progress through, you'll find that there's there's other things that you can do, and and you have to solve and figure out within the level. Right. So, any any good game nowadays will introduce the first level kind of as a tutorial level, start slowly introducing mechanics of the game, as well. And um, I noticed that you have a wraparound there, yep. uh, very bubble bobble. So what what uh, games were an influence for for this game? I, I think there was, oh, can you solve the level? Yeah, Bernie's doing his little celebration. Mm -hmm. Yay, floor complete. Oh, he's looking strong. <laughs> attempts for this floor, five. Total attempts, five. Okay. I feel like he should be on my shoulder. Oh, he should be whispering, on your shoulder. Whispering answers. So that, 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 yeah, that's Bernie's gonna help your, her. Your score mechanic is, um, I think the, the plan's going to be to have around about 100 levels split into towers of five. Um, and right. then you would have, you've got the forest area where we start, and then there'll be other areas in the, the desert and the art, you know, the, the snowy wastelands and all that stuff. So if there the, was the typical ones, the, the lava, lava, forest, um, all the typical ones, yeah. right? <laughs> and if we had yeah. um, 100 levels, then a perfect score would be 100, so one attempt for each level. Okay, so that that uh, helps people be motivated to try it over and over again to try and beat their old score. Mm -hmm. Yep, very nice. Oh, Tanya completed the second one. Possible. Uh, yeah. Good job, Tanya. Let me adjust the camera so you can Thank see you. us a bit better. <laughs> Not that it matters too much. Excellent. So there's a mechanic there of uh, there's a new mechanic mm -hmm. as well. Slowly introducing them, different types of enemies, ones that don't move till you see them. Then you've got switches here for platforms as well. Yeah, Tanya's Tanya's got it under control. 
<laughs> That's great. If you, um, if you leave Bernie standing alone for too long, he gets a, a little bit bored and he goes into idle mode. Oh, oh excellent. Cute. Yeah. Oh. You give him a few seconds. Yeah, so stand yeah. at the bottom. We'll just sit there. <laughs> Oh! oh no! Oh my god, the guy can come down. I oh, did not no. realize that. <laughs> oh no. I didn't think about that either. Yeah, the, cool. the enemies have different behaviors. Some of them will stay on the level, some of them will fall through. Um, mm. There are some enemies which you probably won't meet in the demo, but they will actively chase you and, and run after you, and you know they'll, they'll hunt you down in a pack. Right. Oh, really? Okay, so he's kind of smiling, he's blinking. Let's see what else he does. He does a little yawn as well. Oh, <laughs> so cute. Oh, yeah. He's getting bored. Uh, uh, Esther says he reminds me of uh, Gary from SpongeBob. Mm. <laughs> I'm not, not does he go with SpongeBob? Uh, well, he has a very cute cat meow. Meow? Yeah. Meow? It's very, very cute. But, the, but um, uh, uh, this guy is is a uh slug i want to say bernie's of i bernie's... guess of indeterminate form he's basically a <laughs> he, he's a he's a blob and if, a blob. if he needs an arm he can grow an arm if he needs uh, uh, yeah. to slide he can slide and he's uh i'm not that sure makes what he sense. is as a, as a creature he's a he's a bernie he's unique <laughs> <laughs> He's a Bernie. He, the, there are other Bernies. There's a Mrs. Bernie, so um, <laughs> therefore there is maybe so, more of them out so there. The, the the bad guys on this level, these are grumpkins. Uh, okay, yeah, they've got. They look a little grumpy. Oh, you're not gonna oh, finish in time. No. Oh my God, he's going nuts over you. He doesn't know which way to go. Yeah, <laughs> That's hilarious. With his one tooth. Um. Actually, Steve, if you look at the, the little scene in the kitchen at the start when they're drinking a cup of tea, there's a little picture above the table. There's a Bernie Jr. there, so maybe... Oh, missed that. That's right. Maybe maybe later in the adventure, maybe he runs into him. He's been, you know, off in the forest somewhere or into the snow. Yeah, maybe. We'll have to see. That'd be cool. <laughs> we'll have to see. Um... So tell us about the timeline. When did you uh, start this, or when did you come up with the idea as well um, for this game? I came up with the idea to make this probably back in August, and uh, my usual development process of throwing a few sprites around and working on building an engine. The engine for this was was quite um, quite fraught in, in development. So I wasn't sure I was going to be able to do what I wanted to do. We started off with 16 pixel-wide tiles, which looked quite quite chunky. Um, oh, okay, yeah. So then we were using, I was using um, tiled maps. So then we moved away from tiled maps because of the memory, you know, the constraints on the ROM. Um, I wasn't going to fit as many levels as I wanted in, so we had to roll um, a piece of code to actually draw the levels to be more efficient. Um, oh, okay. So then we were moved to a 12 pixel-wide. Um, tile system but then we were running into i was running into problems with not being able to draw enough stuff but it was a, a code issue rather than a maria issue so there was lots of going backwards and forwards to the point where we had a stable engine and then from that point it's a case of okay now we can start to build the game out right okay well that that's pretty short timeline from august that's quite good to to get to this kind of level oh f floating uh uh toilets this is very reminiscent of a lot of uh, European games on uh, 8-bit computers. Totally my tribute to Jet Set Willy. Right? <laughs> they had very bizarre stuff in that game. Just everything thrown at the screen. Oh no, oh, Tanya's no. stuck! I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> and now I'm trapped. Press on button one. On button one? Self-destruct. Oh, oh, he doesn't uh, explode. Very nice. <laughs> it's waiting for the explosion of Smart. Bernie. Yeah, you have to be um, very careful with your uh, block pushing. Movement. Right. Yeah, fair enough. Um, yeah, don't fall down the hole. Question. Yeah. What was the inspiration? I think there was there was quite a few inspirations for this call. Mm -hmm. I think I've taken right. ideas from a lot of games. I, th I think you can even see some, some parallels with like Millie and Molly. Um, there's a few ZX yep. Spectrum games. Um, 
the author of one of the Spectrum games. I had a chat with about how he did some of the stuff. Um, uh, Tanya, I think you blocked yourself there. Oh, <laughs> I can't get on this. That hurts me. Gotcha. Uh, All right, I think you have to get enough. the bottom star first. I think you might be right there. Yeah. So how does how did lives work in this? Like it's, it's she she started over at one point. Yeah. You have attempts. So each, each okay. Tower, you get a set number of attempts. Um, once you've exhausted the attempts for the tower, you get booted out. So if you go back in, you, you have to start that tower from, from the beginning. From the beginning. Okay. And is it attempts for the total tower or attempts for each level? The You'll get recorded the amount of attempts it took you to, de to solve the level, but then the total attempts yeah. is from the very first level. That's kind of your running score. Right, okay. Ooh. Yep, I guess that's the only thing you could do. Oh, go to the right there. There you go. Phew. <laughs> Sorry, being a backseat Yay. player. Um, <laughs> let's see. Oh, my God. Um, so, yeah, you already named off. You killed a lot of my questions. <laughs> a, lot of your, a lot of your answers. That always happens, right? Um, so tell us about the... Uh, scope of this game that you're you're planning to extend it to like right now in this demo I think you said there's two towers yeah. and both of those are uh, in the forest area that's right yeah so yeah this the story will progress um, I, I don't want to give too many specifics of that away to spoil the surprise but the plan will be to have around about a hundred levels in total so that will bring us to right. you know and, and they're in blocks of five they'll be probably 25 in the forest area and then 25 in the desert and 25 in the in the snowy wilderness or you know whatever right um, and th that'll give us around about 100 levels but i'm also planning to have some um kind of i guess you could consider it like a transition level transport level to get you from the different parts of the world um There'll be, uh, oh, okay. Th there'll be a, um, a bit of activity there, but it'll be nothing like what's in the actual game here. It's going to be very different. Yeah, yeah. So that'll give people lots to do, that's for sure. Yeah. And there'll be a lot more story <laughs> elements to be to be added as well, and you'll in, you'll be introduced to the other wizards. I mean, you've you've met Melvin so far, but there's you know. Ah. Uh. There'll be uh, he, he, basically each wizard looks after a, a, a chunk of the the world. You know, tower. Melvin's responsible mm. for the forests, and someone else is responsible for the for the for the winterland, and someone else is responsible for the desert. Right. So we have a question from Carl G. asks how big the uh, the ROM size is. At, at the moment, Carl, it's uh, it's a two fifty six K ROM, um, and there's a fair bit of headroom in there. Um, mm. I think. Mm. It, uh, some of the ROM requirement is down to having to bank switch and have a lot of graphics and bank switch for the cutscenes. Um, I've not yet thought about moving it to um, a bank sets ROM. Um, I'll, I'm waiting to see what when, when Mike brings that forward and, and documents it because then a 256k ROM in this format might end up being a 128k bank switch ROM because you can just shove more stuff together. Mm, right. Um, somebody said you could hop off the ladder halfway down. I yeah, you can. I didn't expect that, You can actually. kind of run off the edge of it. Yeah, you, oh, can, okay. you can basically get a little bit of head start. Oh, that's nice. So you don't have to climb all the way down the ladder if you have a very tight area to mm -hmm. get away from somebody. That's mm -hmm. that's really good. So is this, this is the fourth level? You didn't you made it past this, right? Or did yeah. you? Yeah. yeah. Just the fifth one you didn't? Uh... Yeah. Okay. Um... So so, um, what are your plans for the other Bernie game? Um, are you stuck on something, or are you um, just waiting for something? Or because it was pretty good, I, I really enjoyed the other one. What, what I'm waiting for with that game is just inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, I, I kind of lost the interest. I mean, the, that, that game was uh. um, pretty much done from a working engine there were some bugs in the engine that needed to be fixed um the graphics were pretty much done um it probably yep. needed a soundtrack 
it, it's actually really close to being done. It just needs a bit of work to tidy a few things up. And there's a few things which I would do differently. So when I do go back to it, it's probably there's a few things um, I'll go back and fix, change, tweak to bring it up to the standard of like my current projects rather than where I was with my coding when that one was made. Um, but it's definitely right. one I will go back to at some point. Oh, good, because that that one had a huge promise. It was a, it was a, a lot of fun. Um, and speaking of um, music um, and sound, um, this one doesn't have any currently doesn't have any sound or music. So what what are your plans for that at the moment? The probably the um, the, the public demo which we're going to get out won't have. Um, or, or it may only have basic sound. Sound will be added. Right. Um, but that's kind of the next phase of development. The first phase was to to get the uh, to get the engine in, get everything working, um, and 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 get everything stable, and then I can add the sounds in. Music again is is something I I I, I don't touch. Um, <laughs> if if I do the music, believe me, it it, it won't end well. Um, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not very musically minded, um, and I'm hoping that yeah. um, I can collaborate on the music with with one of the one of the folks that are, are very very good at that. Somebody like Bobby or uh, some of the other folks in the yeah. in the community. Yeah, I uh, I'm sure one. <laughs> that's right. Well, I'm sure somebody will step up because this this has massive promise, and it it looks like a lot of fun. I haven't played mm -hmm. it yet, really. I barely played it. Is it fun? Yep. Yep. Well, still challenging you. So oh, it's you haven't, very challenging. Haven't beat the first it's tower yet. Yeah. Um, I think this is the last screen for the first tower, so Tanya's quite close. Oh, it is. That's right. Close, but. Eh. Don't go all the way down Just the ladder. Ah. To... Uh. You can stop there, and you can pause, and you can just take stock. Mm. I think that guy right, at the top right, right. pulling back to the left. To the left. Yeah, because yes, then you could do, go down, down the right and yeah. then the right again. Um, yes. To, just to kind Ooh, of. Is there going to be enough time to do that star? Mm. Hopefully. Well, you're not going to get much more time. He, that guy's already. Okay, here we go. Yeah, you can do it. And that's about as much as you can get. Nice, Yay. just in time. First castle defeated. <laughs> so total attempts twenty four. So oh, what is he doing? He's like. Punching, punching, punching the, the, uh, the um, transmitter. The oh, mind control yes, transmitter. the mind control. Yep. <laughs> Obviously, Bernie is immune to the mind control transmitter. Yes. He's, he's good, but everybody else, not so much. Um, so I don't want to keep you too long, and I think I've exhausted all my questions. Um, before I ask my last one, do you have anything else to add to um, uh, this, this game about uh, the development or uh, what's going to be happening with it? or? Um, I, th I think the plans for for this one will be just to continue to develop it, uh, put adding more levels, the the the, the different overworld areas. Um, I think I'd, I'd like to, I'm definitely going to get a demo out in the next um, you know week or so, um, and then yep. I think we're going to be you know probably on for a, a, a twenty. Uh, if you go back ten, you can go down to that monument. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, let's check out the monuments. Ah. Oh. Uh, you're the you're the. But it's okay. <laughs> you can you can read it. Read the whole thing. Yeah. Sir Bernie, it's good to see you in these troubled times. Queen Russet, I need to cross the Gloom Clops Brook. <laughs> gloom, probably Gloom. Gloom Clops Brook. Yeah. Unfortunately, the bridge is damaged. If you can stop the drone from coming from Twinkle ta from the Twinkle Tower, then my people can repair the bridge for you. Very good, your royal spud spudliness. I'll get right on it. <laughs> ah, okay, so little quests to, yeah. to fix things up, and very nice. Uh, somebody said it looks very much like Commander Keen, the overworld in Commander Keen, and uh, I do agree with that. I've never played that. I couldn't tell you. <laughs> oh. oh, it's a really fun uh, game from the mm, early 90s. Uh, it was at least on DOS. Or, yeah, for, for DOS. And um, yeah, check it out. It's great platformer, you know, similar overworld. And uh, it's a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. uh, very, very. It's made by ID Software, people who made Doom, one of their early games. It's software. The, 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 oh, the my God. font call is one that um, 
it's the arty fund, but I've stretched it. Okay. It's nice. Um, it's, oh my it's, goodness. It's about twelve pixels tall instead of eight. Uh, okay. Yeah, just to give it a little so bit of a difference. Some of the levels you'll see have a more puzzle orientation. Some of them will have more of a action. Do <laughs> this is one of the more action ones. You have to keep moving, otherwise you get splattered. Yeah, there's no pausing on this one, and you have to watch, really watch where they are on the bottom floor, because they'll come through and get. Gameplay, not being too frenetic. Mm. <laughs> Well, yeah, that changed in this tower, that's for sure. <laughs> Esther Mayer says, this level is killing me. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> they kind of gang up. You kind of have to lead them to the left. Well, no, they, they go right, follow right, you. Right. They follow you. Yeah, exactly. So if you, all the stuff's on the, le on the right, you have to lead them to the left and then do stuff on the right. You have to stay sufficiently ahead of it, it them, I think. Have it does, um, just answering Nostalgic's question there, it, it does kind of cause its own problems because... Um, the, the screen doesn't equally doesn't divide nicely into 12 um, uh, so using a, a, a tile size with a width of 12 you, you have to um, accommodate that um, 16 right. is much easier but the then everything looks really chunky and fat because of the pixel <laughs> pixel ratios on the 7800 um, a 12 width with a 16 height seems to work quite well mm, yeah uh, yeah, the question was uh, well, would be on the screen anyway. Everybody can read that. <laughs> um, so my uh, last question is kind of a follow-up of other games and tech demos that you have released. Um, I know, obviously, you have a lot of work to do on this one, but are any of the other ones that you kind of have on the back burner or show tech demos of, um, like track and field, <laughs> Sonic Runner, Shadow of the Beast, Alien Arc. Yeah, nice. Uh, Motos, Walker. On, on the burner, burner, James, I think. Yeah. Um, oh, Bernie, you've revealed today, so this is going to be one for 2023. Um, yeah. Also, we're hoping to get EXO out in 2023 with a collector's edition as well. Um, Excellent. And then um, I do Party? have another couple of projects um, which I'll be explaining a little bit more about in the coming weeks um track and field <laughs> yeah. is definitely one i'm going to revisit i've restarted programming that ah. four times but track and field is definitely one and there is another one as well which i will be uh, sharing some information about in the new year so you want to destroy everyone's joysticks is what you're saying <laughs> and for those that have the special track and field um the ones with the buttons yeah Yep, which I do, so I'm, I'm fully prepared for your track and field release. Um, ready to pound on those buttons. That's excellent. Or anybody who has like an, an Asteroids, I guess, um, Asteroids controller where, every, where everything's buttons, that would work as well. Yeah. Track and field is, um, is, is a game that I, I absolutely adore. I'm, I'm completely useless at it, so I need to get practicing. <laughs> but it's a game that I just love. Um, and it's, yeah. I think the 7800 could do a really, really competent conversion of it. Oh yeah, like if people check out your your demo of it, it looks really good, and I think um, it will translate really well to to the 7800. And and for a, a and it's a multiplayer game as well. Yeah. Like so, that'll be a lot of fun for people. Like one to I don't know how many players it supports, or it can support. Um, not all at once, but I think it does two two at once. I think it's yeah. You, um, I think you can have four players um, with playing in pairs, and I think the other thing yes. which I think would be um, fun to try. Um, I, I did a bit of work with the Atari Vox with um, EXO, and I think the arcade yeah. version of Track and Field you have that little ever so slightly robotic lady's voice calling out the scores and the numbers. You know. Oh. I think, nice. I think there's probably some scope there to see what could be done with Atari Vox to make that, that work, or, or at least add it as a feature. Yeah, because with the Atari Vox, you don't want to leave anybody out that doesn't have it. So it's always like nice bonuses yeah. if you if you do have it. You don't want a, a, a game to rely on it because it'll just lock out everybody who doesn't have it. it it's um, one of those, and, if, if you yeah. have it, it'll work. If you don't have it, you won't lose anything. 
Yeah. Oh, so now he has to go around and collect some stuff on this level. Oh, this is very different. Wow. Yeah. So you've got ice blocks at the this. top that are blocking your way. And you need to pick and up a mm -hmm. spanner in the left. Yeah. Oh! oh, I didn't flakes. get it last time either. Oh, the lava flakes. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, now I have to do it all over I again. know this one. <laughs> but you're, you'll be you much get, better at this You get time. better at it as you get. <laughs> <laughs> you get a lot of practice on the first level <laughs> of each tower. <laughs> yeah, you, 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 that one at the top, you need to get the... Um, the gloom clops you need to let him run further so you need to figure out how to extend his run because he, he'll turn uh, back when he sees an ice block oh okay. yes okay that makes sense yeah yeah that makes a lot of sense I, I, I'm, I'm thinking Tanya's done really well with this so far considering you've played it oh this, yeah. this is probably the most difficult oh, yeah. level in the demo that, that you're on at the moment <laughs> oh excellent this yeah. one does take some time to Sort out, out the can, can kind of best options. And, oh. and you can kind of figure out. There's a, mm. Yeah. There's, there's, a, there's a strategy when they move a certain way, you move a certain way. Mm. Okay. Now they they all seem to just move towards your position in the horizontal space, right? Yeah. The, their their they, movement is pretty fixed. Um, yeah. There are levels where the enemy movement <sighs> isn't fixed. So Mm. You need to get off their plane. You need to go. Yeah, you should have gone left. Go away from them. <laughs> yeah. Open up the space. Yeah, yeah. Trial and error. This is a harder castle, as Ramirez says. Yeah. 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 Especially for those top ones where they they fall down and you don't you don't even oh, know see, they're coming. See, I I have a bad habit of falling on them because I'm Gotta thinking they're everywhere. just getting past me because I'm trying to get as much time. Yeah. And then I end up squishing them. So yeah, I keep doing that. <laughs> I keep doing that over and over. Well, um, so unless there's fun. anything else you'd like to add, we will uh, let you sleep and uh, get on with your. Saturday. <laughs> um, anything else you want to? No, nothing else to add. Um, I'm, I'm going to probably just see if you can get to the end of the demo. Um, I'm going <laughs> to linger on the stream and watch. See if you can keep, see if you can beat the second tower. Okay. Excellent. And I'll I'll give some attempts well, you as should, well. You should put we'll, some we'll, attempts in. It's we'll uh, trade off yeah. uh, after each uh, round. That of sounds attempts. like a good yeah. good plan. So thank you so much, Lewis, once again for uh, coming on the stream and uh, debuting one of your amazing new games. This this looks and plays so well. It's super, super cute. And I'm glad mm -hmm. that Bernie is continuing on his adventures. Mm -hmm. um, and and we just love this this beautiful knitted Bernie um, yeah. that you, that you gave us. One, yeah. one of only two in existence. No, really? Oh, really? We're honored. We're honored. We haven't let the cats at it. No. We do want it. Thank oh, he's goodness. gonna get the other one. Oh, there's its there's its twin. Oh, look at that. Oh. Very nice. Very cute. Very very cute. Uh, the cats do eye it, but we keep it out of uh, cat range. Yes. There was another uh, knitted cute thing that uh, Tanya's sister sent us um oh, for christmas yeah. and for christmas and sprite did manage to get it off the tree yeah and uh, turn it into a toy but i put it up even higher this time and yep. he hasn't been able to get it so yeah they they like knitted things so thank you so much uh once again for joining us lewis and um, absolute pleasure james as always and uh good to see tanya cracking this one let's see how far she gets oh it's fun oh <laughs> yeah to join you on the stream thanks for having me Oh, excellent. Well, we will talk to you very, very soon and uh, enjoy your uh, evening and uh, Saturday and weekend. Thanks. Thanks, everyone. Have a good night. All right. You bet. Have a good night, Talk Lewis. to you soon. Uh, there we go. Ah, 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 there we go. Excellent. Always fun to uh, to have people on have the developers on and play their games. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, um, do you want to switch it to dark mode? Yes. Uh, are you starting over? No, uh, well, uh, I think I have like one more attempt. Okay. I'm sure I'm close to the end. I might as well. It's funny because I'm like, oh, I had a system and now I've forgotten what that system was. <laughs> oh no. It was like, it worked out well a couple of times and now I'm, I've lost it. 
He's coming for you. Oh my god, that was close. See, now, now they're all on the <sighs> right-hand side. Yeah, you really have to pull them. Lure them over. There's almost like, uh, there's definitely a way to do it. You have no attempts left. There you go. D-Train says, I like Tanya's sweater. Oh, you're welcome. Actually, let's show these... Uh, Sweaters off. So, so what's that? What's that? Pengo, pengo. Pengo. Yeah, I, yeah. it's very pango much a pengo going sweater. on, a Christmas pengo. Yeah. And then you've got your wonderful Atari uh, Christmas sweater, That's which you've right. had for a couple of years. Many, now, many years. Awesome. Yes. Because um, this is the last uh, stream before our break. Uh, we'll be back on the thirtieth. Yes. Um, Got to get in the Christmassy mood. That's right. So that's why we're wearing these sweaters. <laughs> okay. Get your Christmas on. Let's see if I can do this with any kind of skill. I'll watch these. We need some Hanukkah sweaters. Uh, well, next time. Next time. Yeah, yes. there's some good ah, Hanukkah ah, sweaters. Ah. Okay, everyone, come ah. over to the right. Come, come this way. And there and we you go. go. Over, over, over. Get that one. Get that one, and then all they're all coming to the. Come to this side. That's a you don't oh, want to do that. Oh, that's a big drop. Yeah, okay. you don't want to do that. You want to drop down hey, everyone. to the left Come or on to the right. Over here. Yeah. Oh, actually, we'll go down. This. No. Oh, you oh. smush. See? Oh no. Yeah, it's There's not good. There's very specific Just, ones that you smush. There you go. I think I can there do this. There you go. <gasps> he doesn't fall hit off the, the side. Edge. Oh yeah. no. So close. So close. It's it's. Yeah, there's definitely a pattern that you can yeah. follow, but, uh, ouch, says Muddy Funster. <laughs> yeah, that's a long fall. Uh, we'll get some Hanukkah sweaters going. Ooh, I don't want to do that one. Yeah. That one's way too close. <gasps> no! Uh, yeah. No, no! You know what? It, it is interesting because it's a puzzle, but you do need time to bounce to get the stars. So you, do. you have That's to take that into account or, or you'll get in trouble. Biggest so. mechanic here yeah. is falling and the bouncing. No, no, Whoa. silly. <laughs> Only, no. Only fall off the left and right or where the bubble is. Uh, left and right. The, le the far left oh, bottom the far corner, right. the far right bottom corner or okay. where the bubble is. Those okay. are your options there. There you go. That's good. Get get the right one. Uh. What are you doing? What are you doing? Ah! <laughs> no! Oh, you told I've me. I've been I've been practicing, so it's not really fair. No, it's not. Yeah, if you commit to bouncing, you have to bounce out. Y yeah, you can't you can't quit the bouncing once you've started. Like ah, stop. No. Yeah. And I think this is tile based. Like like there it's. There you go. There you go. Do the middle. Do the middle. Do it. Oh, he's coming. Oh, you told boy. me to do it. Yeah, no, no, no. You had, you had <laughs> enough time. That guy's going to come for you. Yeah, do the bottom one and go off the right. Off the right. So, yeah, oh, they're go. all way over there. Yeah, I think and I can you do might it. be good. Hurrah! It is. Woo! It's a puzzle game at heart. Yes. Yes, I like it. Now, this is the one. Of course, I have like one attempt because you handed it to me with two, two dead already. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. I wasn't. I had died. I had no more attempts on the tower. What are you talking about? So that you need to melt the ice. You must have to go and melt the ice. Is that the idea? Because um, it's easy to get the squirrel. What does that oh. switch to? Why would you? Oh, So what I want to trap that guy down there because I don't oh. need that toilet. But don't you have to give him the... Okay, that totally confused me. Why do you collect all the guys? I'm guessing I can push two pieces of ice at once, because otherwise I, I can't do this. Oh, oh, I have to... Oh, oh, oh. oh and then you should be able to get that. Yeah, for I, I'm going to wait it for him to pass again. I assumed you had to match things up, so I was completely wrong. Well, you do have to give... Well, that's a new bug. <laughs> so something okay. didn't didn't work properly. <laughs> I thought no you attempts were... left, yeah, of course. I, I had thought... What, what was the bug? Oh, nice. What did I discover? Uh, I thought you were supposed to match up the acorn and the squirrel, and the, yeah, but you picked up the robot, and I thought you were supposed to get the the spanner and bring the spanner to the robot. Oh yeah, and you picked maybe up the that robot. was the bug, right? Oh, you'll have to check it out. Yeah, you cleared the robot without the spanner. Yeah, uh, that's yes, what I thought. Yes. Oh, I think I did it in the first try. Yes, there is a pattern. <laughs> So memorize that, kids. Yeah. <laughs> Just watch the stream over and over again. 
So I can't do that. So I, I thought get the cheese, cheese first. to the mouse. To the mouse. We're, and very cute. They're very, very cute. So the I, acorn to the squirrel. And you should have to get... <gasps> oh, you were able to get them, though. Yeah, so that's it's not checking something. Yeah, something. Some... Yeah, what Tina said. Um, get that spanner now. Yeah, but then you did. Oh, you see, I couldn't get past him. You didn't cut what it as close as, as I why, did. Why can't you get the ice? I didn't know. I wanted to give myself more time, just in case. Oh, but you go right off the edge because there's a bubble. Yeah. You can just go bloop. So what? That looks and then like you a... jump on it and drop. No, the one next to it. Watch out. Oh, oh no. So you just have to go. Yeah. As soon as possible. Okay. But technically, you shouldn't be getting the robot. Doesn't matter. It's fine. Oh, well. No, technically you shouldn't, but... Um... These sprites it... are great. They're fantastic looking. Oh, they're looking. gorgeous. Look at that squirrel. Yeah. Really great. So the timing's pretty good on that. I see. I couldn't quite get that. I kept dying. And then jump, jump, jump. And then... Down. Just go for it right away. Yeah, because yeah. if you wait, that guy comes in. Comes yeah. down, yeah. Fair enough, fair enough. Da, da, da. Okay. They will be animated in a future build. Oh, very cool. So. So you want to push that over. Oh, I can't. Oh, you can't? Not strong enough. I have oh, to get that strength potion, I guess. Gotcha. He's going to come back. They so, can't drop down, so that's good. So that you can walk across. a bunch of tiny bubbles. Oh, you can't. <gasps> oh, boy. Only limited Only. times. <gasps> so I've ever probably screwed this up. Um, maybe. Uh, no, I, I do need to go up this, so I'll I'll go up and do this top part. I get the... get the um, Strength potion. Strength potion. Which is... Uh, that's what I'm guessing it is. Oh, you... Do you just need to move that over? Um, I think I need to go back and move it over to to do the spikes. Mm. Oh, God. Totally it's okay. Again. You're okay there. Yeah, now I need then, to go back. So you only get once one pass. More. Oh no! I should pop that bubble first, but I fall. That's what you I want need to cross. do. You want to cross? I need to pop it, fall on that. Really? And then go up. What yeah. difference does that make? You'll see, because it'll pop one. Oh. But but. I, and then I go up here. Oh no! You oh need to no! Pop both of them, I think. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, I think you need to pop oh, both of them, but that makes sense. Okay. Just jump on the star and self self sacrifice. Oh no! You can. I can push it, but. And then you. Yeah, don't. I did it wrong. I had to cross over mm. that. That's fine. We will do this. Boom. Boom. This is a puzzle. And one, two, three, so you get all those stars. Uh, you need to get that star. First. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Oh, I need to cross over and... No. Get the star first. Go up. Burst Pop the bubble. Pop the bubble. Pop the bubble. Okay, but then I fall down. Yeah, and then you go down to the left and push it over. No? No. Um, it's fine, though. I can do that. Then I'll go to the right. Oh, my God. You just stay on it and it goes. Yeah. Pop and go right. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, no. So you just stand on it and it pops? If you're there for too long. Hmm. Okay. Can I love you... how angry those guys are, they're the little rude. spudlings. Oh, well, they're mind controlled. It's oh, not their fault. That they're so angry. I'd be angry they're too. They're angrier than normal. Yeah. Okay. So <sighs> pop and go right. So I can pop this and jump off of it? Is that what uh Mighty Funster's saying? Pop and immediately go to the right at the top, or pop it, fall down immediately go to the right. Yeah. I would go to the left, if anything. Pop and left? No, I think it's pop and right. Oh, no. Go to the right? Well, I guess that's okay, too. Yeah. There you go. You just, you can just pop it and go off and it. And go off. So that's that's gotcha. what I wanted to do. 
So then, now it'll fill that space at the bottom. And then you jump here. Yeah. Uh, ooh, you, you're going to have to time it well because you're going to fall and be stunned. No, no, no. Oh, if, if I go not, down. If the, that's true, that's true. Yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. But, but then, there are no ooh. ladders down there. He is really slow. Yeah, but he's going to come back for you. You're going to have to time it perfectly to pop it. Oh, uh. no. To pop it right behind him and then run the other way. Yeah, you're going to have to do that. You're going to have to chase him. Do one star and run yes. back. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But it's doable, I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Follow him. Yes. Follow him. <laughs> so, um, mm -hmm. this is tile based. So, if you press to the left, just even a tap, it'll go a whole tile. Mm. It's not a, a free form kind of movement thing. To the right. Quick, quick. No! Oh no, I didn't <sighs> do that star. <laughs> Am I screwed? I'm yeah, screwed. You are because you can't get that star, I don't think. Nope. You can go to the right. And then self sacrifice. <laughs> mm. Yeah, you you can't. You're screwed, says Muddy <laughs> Funster. Correct. Am I? Let's see. <laughs> yep, I see. Yep. Yep. Oh, oh no. Oh, it's just from the first one or second. No. Third. Well. All right. You have to start it again. I'm gonna do this wrong. I. <laughs> it's the whole left side, and then you go to the right, pop that bubble, go down. What did you do from here? Just went to the left. To the or, left. Or, yeah, I'll get down there. There you go. And uh, yeah, then I did. Oh, uh, see, I do that every time. Way too early. I just, I'm trying to maximize the time I have, and then I always end up squishing, jumping on them. Now's my time to adjust this, this color. Oh, the 7800 vexes me. It vexes me. It does vex me. Oh, again. It's just killing my lives. Terrible. Yep. <sighs> just too, too anxious. <laughs> too it's anxious. like, get it, get it. No. Oh, that's pretty good. There we go. It's much better color. Yeah. Oh, no. oh my God. Oh, oh I shouldn't have so done close. that. I was going to run and then I didn't. Terrible. Oh, yes, this is on the 7800 Atari 2600 dude. And look at my new toy. It smells like. Smells like old. Okay, like can must. I try? Can I start over? Because I just did terrible on this floor. Sure. Thank you. That I'm going to be doing a lot of typing on this, as long as the keys will all work. Yeah, wait for the bounce back. Oh, oh there you go! Yay! Okay, that and was the first better. one. Second, second. Oh, okay. Was it first or I can't remember. Alrighty, so it's supposed to be mouse cheese, cheese to mouse. the mouse, and then the acorn. Mm -hmm. You can just do it. <laughs> oh, you're doing it right, the right way, huh? Yeah, I like to uh -huh. do things the right way. Uh, yes, uh, it's an 800XL PAL with VBXE slash XL um, and the U1 MB upgrade. So it should be able to play absolutely all the PAL games because m the majority of the development for 8-bit systems are done in Europe, specifically Germany and Poland. Mm. <laughs> and so all 
the first ones they do are PAL games on 8-bit system. Um, and sometimes they never do an NTSC version. So you try and play the PAL, ver PAL games on NTSC. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, there's, there's sometimes flickering because it doesn't have enough time to draw the whole screen. Um, or, and the colors are always off um, because you're playing PAL colors on on an NTSC, so it always looks funny. You have to go right left. Go in the bubbles and immediately off them to the left. There you go. So, yeah. Yay! Stan, you're gonna do it. You can do it. So what you need to do is follow him, right? Careful! <gasps> Not oh, so fast. No. It's tile based. <laughs> it's tile based. Oh, My turn. No. Oh, no. Yeah, I got it from the UK. Uh, um, I got it off eBay. And there's a guy <laughs> who's selling the modded. And he's got a bunch of the modded. Yeah. With that. It's not cheap, <laughs> but it's not like overly expensive for what you're getting. Um, so if you do want to get one, I would highly recommend checking them out. Oh no, yeah. Oh, it is true. It is reset. a good idea to pull them to the left. Yeah. But I think I that's when that I was successful, time. I kind of pulled them back to the left and then back to the right, but it's, yeah, there is a, definitely a way. There's a way. Yeah, there's a pattern I got and it was, it was perfect, so I'm not sure what it was. Did the exact same pixel perfect And as Ramirez is correct, you cannot speed run this game. Like I just get really anxious <laughs> yeah. and that's when I make mistakes, like jumping on things because I'm trying to trying to do it faster. Yeah, you can't. <gasps> it, there's deep breaths, take your time. Really nice yeah. background too. Like if you look at the, the wire <laughs> stuff in the background. Oh, that was oh, a big mistake. Oh, you don't do that. Anyway, I've no. lost enough lives that... You probably want to restart, yeah. Explodium. Boom. One more. Does that lose a life? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. okay, good. It's just the fast way of resetting it. Mm -hmm. Rage reset. <laughs> yes. I do have a Fujinet mm -hmm. um, as well. It's really great because then you can... Um, play games right off of other people's um, servers. Mm. Um, and there also, there's also multiplayer games, too. 8-Bit um, Slicks is one of them. Mm -mm. I would have gone to the right. No. It's too bad you're not playing. <laughs> it's easy to watch and say, oh, no, I wouldn't oh, have done that. Oh, I would have not died there. <laughs> I've completely forgotten my perfect pattern. I like, know. I know. Uh, smush. Smushy. Oh! oh, smush. Rage reset. <laughs> no, I've got three lives still. I'll try. I think the cats are desperate for treats right now. They are. They sound like they're trying to attack each other in the hallway. <laughs> they get that way when they you know. do. Like, where are the treats? Nobody's giving us treats, no. and we heard the chip tune music and everything. I think this might be it. Oh, yeah, you can just... No, oh, you what? still have to get the one in the middle. Oh, yeah, no. yeah, 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 yeah. You're fine. all good. It's You're fine. all good. I Yay! think that's the pattern. Warning, this game is highly addictive. Correct. You're telling me. Oh, Correct. my goodness. This one is not as frenetic. Mm -mm. This one's fine. This one's like a huge reprieve compared to... Come on, toilet, get down there. <laughs> <laughs> Roaming toilet. I'm gonna take this out I of do my find ear. that really oh funny. Goodness. Yeah, we don't need this, do we? No. Um, can but we won't hear it go ding, 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 or anything. I'm like gonna that. unplug it so we can. Okay. So cats can That's too. Very important. It is, nine, especially for. Oh, oh, just in time. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! There's a black cat. Oh, kitten. Did you see him come running in the room? Oh yeah. <laughs> you gotta watch the cat cam. Oh, sweetie, what's up? What are you asking for? What? What is it? What? What? Could it, what could it be? Oh my God! No! <laughs> oh. oh, that's terrible. Okay. There's one for you. There's one for you. Or is it a competition or always. just a, always a? Oh, one to one. You'll have to count. I know. Ah! Oh. 
One for you, one for you. Don't run away with it. Atari, eat it. Oh, will the robot let me pass him this time? Oh, oh I didn't. There you go. Two Funster, there, there's a way that, there's a pattern to, that two. you can't get the robot. And there's a pattern where you can get the robot. That was interesting. Oh, did I drop it? No. Oh, three, two. I'm gonna make it harder on, on Sprite. <laughs> oh no! Introducing a handicap. Oh, a little harder, a little harder. Good, three, three. Oh, I shouldn't have put them on these. Two dings counts for one treat. It's, it's. What was that? Oh, I uh, heard something, but I. Was it three, three? Oh my goodness. Four, 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 four. Here. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh, don't run away. No, don't do it. Oh, five, four. Five, five. Keeping it up. Wow. But don't run away. He's distracted though by him running away, so it's fine. Oh, <laughs> ding, ding. six five, six six. Oh my God! What did I just do? Seven six. No. Seven seven. Oh my gosh! I'm running out of treats. Eight seven. Hmm. Oh, nine, seven. Oh, Atari got the treat for Sprite. Oh, no. <laughs> he stole it. Uh, does that, is that like a steal? Is, <laughs> like, is that like a, I think that's, what are we up Intercept. to? Intercept. Ten, seven. Does that give him an extra point? No, that's not a good I don't thing know. To okay, encourage. and then one for you. I think Sprite won, but I think you might have. What was the score? It's like 10, 8, 10, oh, eight something like that. Record. I am totally lost, so uh, I apologize. I have to go to a they vid were, video replay. We will have to do one. a video replay. Sprite won. However, Atari got one of Sprite's treats, so I kind of feel like he stole a point away. That's mm. that's unusual, because usually it's Sprite stealing from Atari. So, yeah, Atari, good on you. He's like, yeah, I usually get too few. I'm going to take his now. <laughs> 30 second penalty. Yes, there you go. <laughs> Into the penalty box. Atari. Need a little cat cat penalty box. Oh. Now they're licking themselves. <laughs> Cleaning time. Yeah, Sprite did that in the other show. Atari's revenge. Atari. <laughs> yeah, this is this is the Oh, he's so slow. Oh, that's good. Finally. Okay. I have one life left though. Good job. It's very sad. It's okay. Whew. Now we're into the th fourth level. I think there's, is there five or six? Five. There's per, a mouse. So we've gotten the There's the level. cheese. So I need to get the cheese first. Yeah, so you have to go all the way around, I'm guessing. It's a good thing Ooh, you can. I need to. Ooh, yeah, you are going to have to. Where, where's the switch? Oh, there's no switch. Go all the way up. Hi, Mr. Mouse. Hi. Oh. Oh, there's a block that points down. I'm guessing that goes yeah. down as you ride it, yeah, which maybe. is fine. It's supposed to go to the bottom. Hmm. Oh, but you have to stop off at the stars. So where's the... Oh, the switch is at the bottom. So you want to time the switch. So if you jump on that, it'll take oh, it you right down. goes one down. Okay. Then you do the stars on your way down. Because you won't be able to get those again. Yeah, you might... Might have... I don't know. Can you get all of that stuff? Yeah. I good. no. I think you're screwed. You're gonna switch. You're gonna flip that switch. No, there's no switch. Flip. Yes, there oh, is. Oh, there is. Okay. And then you're not gonna be able to get that star on the second level because you probably should have gotten that one. I don't well, know. Well, I can just flip it after. I guess so. So what? I get that star, star, star. Why do do, do we, they fall down the holes? Oh, maybe they fall down the holes. That would be good. Ooh, then they get trapped on yes. that lower floor. So I, I just need to time it. I think so. See if they fall down. Blunk, blunk, blunk. Bye bye. And then I'm good. Yeah, that's how you do it. Yep, yep, yep. Minor, minor puzzle. Minor puzzle. So many interesting mechanics. Yeah, yeah I can't wait to see the, the mice, the animals animated too. Yeah, that's a strong Bernie. Thank you. We're on the last level now. Floor complete. I think, I think. Uh oh. Oh, God. Oh, he's coming for you. 
Ah, uh, no. Ah, uh, go, 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 go. Ah, uh, go, 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 go. Wake up, wake up. Oh, okay, safe. Uh, I'm screwed because I didn't get that star and I can't. Well, you can get. Oh, no, you can't. Nope, I cannot. Oh, no, I can go back through down at the bottom because there's two bubbles. Okay. Ah, I see. True. That's not a problem. Okay, so I need to get this star. I'm going to go back up the ladder and think. A bit. <laughs> think. And then I'm going to go... To the right bubble? Yeah, right bubble, get the star, drop back down, then do the left bubble. <sighs> There's not much room. I have to go to the You have ladder? to do the left one last. Yeah. Left one drop last. Drop the right bit. bubble to get that star. I have to I'll land on it. And then you have to drop back down and get There's the other star. There's not much time, though. Yeah, yeah That's you're going to have to make that work. <laughs> 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 That's how I see it. And then he goes over, and then he comes. Ah, uh, yeah! Tower two complete. <laughs> Tower complete. Yeah. Punch, 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 and punch, punch, boom, punch, punch, destroy. Punch. Destroy. <laughs> Total attempts eighty. So the best score you can get is a hundred for the whole game. Wow. <laughs> And we did 80 for two towers. Yeah. Not so great. Is it just the two towers in the demo yeah. right now, or is there more? He says there's two towers. Two towers. Maybe okay. we can find a secret. Is there third. more on this side? Ooh, ooh, ooh look wizard. at that. Maybe. Can you chat with him yet? Maybe. <gasps> oh, Bob, we're off to a good start. Well, that's oh. two towers sorted. There can't be many more, right? Well, right, Melvin? You going to do the wizard voice? No. It's okay. Oh. Well, it's not that simple. We need to get word to my old mate Grumbledore. Grumbledore. He's far to the north in Olin. If we can get if we can knock out the towers to the north and south, we should be able to get to the docks. Okay, but what then? Well, I'll figure out a way to get you from Uni or Donny. Uni? <laughs> Uni? Uni, it's an O, yeah. Uni? To Olin. Okay, but preferably this time not via the cubic prison. Uh, ha, ha, ha. Oh, references. Uh, erm, yes, of course. <laughs> so, so to the north? Let's just check out to the right first. Nope. Nope. Not I bet there. You can't, you can't go to the right, up or down either, I'm sure. Nope. nope. Blocked. Every direction. Oh, blocked. Oh, and that's it, says and my that's fun. It. Yeah. The hills are Looks very nice. Fantastic. They're very uh, Mario hills and yes. Mario um, rocks Stone as well. outcroppings. Those yeah. um, curved. Yeah. It's gorgeous looking. Very nice. Really? Muddy Funster. Awesome. Awesome. Can I awesome. jump on the bridge and destroy it? No. no. Boy, 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 boy. Can you do the levels again? Oh, you can. You can. Hit it again. Oh. Yeah, you can. Nice. Of course, that's I like that. just going to add to your terrible score. <laughs> Explosion. Explosion. Let's uh, explode again. And get back to the overworld. Mm -hmm. Very nicely done, very, Muddy very Funster. Nice. Excellent Super new cute. game. Where did he go? Did a cat run off with him? Where's the Bernie? Oh, he's on the shelf. Oh, there he is. He's being displayed. I can see there might be secret passages eventually. Yeah, <laughs> yeah maybe some there. hidden... Hidden areas. Hidden treasure. And or... somebody said to build a, a bridge to oh, that yeah. little island as well. That definitely feels very Mario. Yeah. And uh, can we go back home? I want to see the picture of the junior. Oh, at the beginning. Yeah. Cute. Nice mechanics and notice. character. Yeah. yeah, really good mechanics <laughs> and character. Oh, yes. Look at the little picture of their baby. Have a good Bernie night, Esther Ramirez. Thank you for Have joining. Have a good night. Yeah. Um, Oh, so yeah, in the baby. photo. I did see that before. It is Steaming cute. Steaming hot tea. I love how he just kind of goes, ah, yo. Oh. He's interrupted by yeah. an owl. So you can see it flying and then smashing yeah. into the window. Yeah. Here it comes. Bigger. I love the shock. I love the shock. Oh, ah. shocked. Should make the uh, the picture on the wall shock, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's so cute. Oh, I love Even it. Even that. You can see the note. That's so nice. So good. Yeah. Excellent really, really, job. really nice. Yeah. Excellent stuff. Oh, Esmeralda is traveling tomorrow. Well, have some. Have, have a, a good have rest. Have a good travel. Have a good uh, trip. Oh, it's a little dark. Oh. Yeah, it is creaky. 
Let me just tweak that just a little bit more before we go off to something else. Like saturation. No, it's just a little off. It's the hue. Oh, it's so hard. Saturation up a bit. That's ah, the brown's not quite right. It's so annoying. So annoying. Anyway, that's pretty close. Um, so we are done with our main show. We're going to do After Dark. What yeah. we're going to be doing is playing Gravitic Mines. Oh, nice. Um, because let me show you why. Challenging game, but beautiful, beautiful game. Uh, which one? Gravitic Mines? Yes. Oh, yes. Very hard. Um, where are we? There we are. Because um, Machine, who makes those patches... <gasps> Wow, cool. Made a Gravitic Mines pilot identification card oh, nice. that you can earn for free if you beat Pilot 4-5. Oh, nice. Which is the last level okay. the, of the game. The last level? Yes. Oh, so, Gravitic Mines is a, it's a ways to challenging go. game, too. Yes. All right, um, cool. But very nice. Look at that. And uh, you not only get that, um, you get... Waiting, waiting, waiting. A letter... <gasps> You get a shiny sticker. Maybe these came with the game. I can't remember. No, I opened it up. These don't come with the game. Yeah. So you get all of these. Oh. I, don't, I don't know about that activation. <laughs> Hatch Club. I'm I like sure the holog that. holographic sticker, No, that's sticker, just though. somebody else's oh, is it? card for the Activision. Yeah. Yeah. The holographic sticker is awesome. Yes, it is. I really, really nice. like that. I like holographic anything. <laughs> There we go. Um, Stickers, so, leggings, clothing, whatever. <laughs> I think only a handful of people have won it so far. Oh, nice. It's, um, it's, it is a challenging game, so I can see that there's a bit of challenge in that. So. There's another person who got it. Um, and Machine posted uh, on last Sunday, still have some pilot ID cards left. Oh, wow. All you need to do to earn one, along with a few extra goodies, is finish all the pilot missions. All you need <gasps> all. to do. Record it on the official online scoreboard or using the QR code and a phone mm. and then post it here. I will send your pilot package out for free. Nice. So that's what we're going to try and do. We'll, we'll try. See. It's a good game. To, it's a fun game to play anyway. Yep. Um, so we are going to have a short break. Mm -hmm. How long? I don't 15 know. Fifteen minutes? I want a quick bite to eat. Okay. So Fifteen minutes? Fifteen minutes is, is good for me. Okay. Yep. We're going to go 15 minute break. And then we'll come back in After Dark. You guys can keep the stream on, listen to the tunes. And then we'll come back in 15 minutes, watch the countdown clock. Um, you know what I did not do? What? Is read out the names of the subscribers. Oh, well, we can do it now, or we can do it at the start of the... Uh, do it now? Okay. people watch different things at different times. Okay. Uh, Alan Farm, Scar Coder, Atari 800, XL Rules, Atari 1974, Atari Age, Atari Patch Quest, BR Polka, Buck Owens, Caffeman 2D, Charles Sedani, Mal, Charles and Jack, <laughs> Charles Wynn, Colonel Lama, Dan, WCDRL, 1970, Nut Drexel, Dr. Mukaz, Great Offender, Jet Crown, Trooper, Joe Rapper, Johnny WC, Joe Curry, 0136, Caputo, GRM, Car Carol G, Ken Jennings, Vader, Cavell Defer, Lambda Express, Glorant TDZ, Mark Ayanis, Mark Space, Sing, Mental Atari 969, Mick Muse, Mike Soul, Mike Latown, Miss Command, Mam K Smith, Major Zarna Move, Mr. Fix, Mighty Funster, Neo Media, Nostalgic Pack 26, Backer, VG Quag, R. Antwitz, RC70, Render Ghost, Brandless, VG, Ricardo Pem, Smitty B, Smoked a 3D4, Spice Rest, Mirrors, Teleprompter, D Train, Washman, Tiki Dan K, Tim of Legends, Tifos, Trek MD2600, X Ken X. Thank you for subscribing <laughs> and thank you to Ground Trooper for resubscribing at the top of the Thanks. show. Um, let's just go over very quickly what's coming up. This is the last show of before we take a well, tiny before break. Christmas, yeah. Um, before Christmas, but we'll be back after Christmas. Um, so, uh, Gravitic Minds, uh, we're playing tonight, uh, in a few minutes for the Pilot mm -hmm. ID card. At some point, we're going to do an After Dark of Razor's Edge because we have the retail copy of it. We're going to oh, try nice. and beat that and okay. see all the levels. Don't know when that's going to be. We'll just some schedule points. for a day that we have some time. Yep. Um, but then we'll be officially back December 30th before the end of the year with Champ Games exclusive world premiere plus a live video interview with John Champo. Mm. What could it be? <laughs> You'll find out on December 30th. 
Um, we might even have another special reveal on Ooh. the 30th Ooh. as well. Okay. A double interview, double, maybe double interview, but double world premiere really? with another game. Not not wow. another John Shampoo, but we'll see. Wow, okay. Mm, old style says. Mm. <laughs> uh, we'll see. Um, and then the Tuesday after that, we have the ZPH interview mm -hmm. by Giovanna, my work partner. Yep. Uh, she'll be here interviewing Tanya and I about the show. And yeah. uh, people have uh, submitted some questions already. If you have some questions about the show for us, or it could be just about us not to do with the show, uh, head over to the Zero Page Homebrew Club in the Atari Age forums and post your questions there. A mm. bunch of people have already posted questions. So mm. I'm going to pass those on to Geo. Nice. And it'll be uh, a lot of fun. It's all happening. <laughs> it's all happening. Uh, <laughs> um, but stay tuned. We're going to be back in 15 minutes. We're going to be playing some Jaguar, Atari Jaguar. We'll be changing the sign, officially oh. changing the sign oh. to Jaguar. Oh. <laughs> um, so thanks for hanging out with us tonight. Atari 2600 dude, old style Mike Soul, Chow Sedani Mao is hanging in. Yay. Nostalgic 26, Chitlit La, Ricardo Pim, Carl G, uh, Vitoko. Th huge thank you to Muddy Funster, Lewis Hill, who uh, debuted his brand new uh, incredibly fun oh Bernie game yeah platformer yeah. game another Bernie game yeah I love it winner yeah <laughs> so fun I can't wait for you guys to play it he's gonna be releasing it before the end of the year he says mm -hmm. in a week so uh, that'll be you'll you'll love it and it's enough challenge even with the levels he's got there mm. um, Atari 2600 dude uh, S Ramirez uh, Dan AVC, Vitoko, I'm probably repeating these because I took a tiny pause. Um, who else? D Train. Mm -hmm. Beer Pocock. Beer Pocock, oh, almost, almost missed that. Atari 800 XL Rules. 8 Bit Poet. Poets, yeah. Lots of peeps. Oh, Metal Level nice. just snuck in at the top before he scrolled off the screen. <laughs> there we go. So hang in there. Uh, we're going to play some music, um, so listen to some fun, pokey music, yes. and, and uh, watch the countdown. 15 minutes. Yep. So we'll see you in a bit. For the YouTube people, click on the next video. Yep. Uh, okay, so we'll be, see you in a, in a few minutes. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.